I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll take a look and see what's coming up. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person, you got the Four of Wands and it's with the Two of Wands. Now the Four of Wands, it often indicates that you could be attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating. So go, you'll have a good time. If you have a business, it's likely to be going well. You'll be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you. Now although this is a positive card in the reading, this Four of Wands, it's showing that you may need to remember to keep your wits about you. That although you should and you deserve to treat yourself to some fun, but just know that you're probably still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. The Four of Wands could sometimes mean that you may be thinking of moving or changing your place of residence. Now it's with the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands, with this one, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. It does indicate a partnership with another person. This can be business, it could be personal, or it could be both. It reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So if things are feeling out of balance for you now, just know that they're about to get substantially better. It's about keeping your eyes on the prize. So, Aries, Four of Wands, clarified by Two of Wands. Now, the message that I'm getting for this recent past energy between you and your person is that Yeah, I'm, I'm picking up on more than one person here. So, it looks like you were trying to make a decision, and you could still be trying to do this. Because if you look at this Two of Wands, it's a card below the word pass. This man, he's sitting down, he's got two wands, one on each side. He's got his hand tied to one wand, and his back is to it, so not really that interested, but his hand is tied to it. So there's some type of connection here, and his body is facing the, the his body language is more towards the other wand, and his ankle is tied to it. And he's looking directly into the eyes of that wand. So for some of you, you're dealing with two people. Or you could have two paths towards the future. You're trying to make a decision. That's what the two of wands is. Trying to decide. Now, it looks like you could be one of the people that you're dealing with. Um, sparks your interest more than the other. Um, yeah, because like I said, you're looking directly into their eyes. And then we got this Four of Wands here, which is actually the Marriage and Commitment card. So there's someone that you want, you're more serious about, or you want to go towards and have something stable and solid. And this person feels the same way about you. But you have your hand tied. And you cannot move forward. You cannot make a decision. Because I'm getting for a lot of you that there's someone else. There's someone else. But you want to go towards your four of wands. You do want this because your body language is saying that's... The person that makes you more excited, 
That's the person that sparks your interest. Yeah, they want something solid and stable with you. And picking up that, so do you. But you, you, you need to make a decision. Because your hand is tied to maybe someone else. Or for some of you, maybe you're married. But there's this other person that you want to go towards. And you could be thinking about something serious with this other person. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Now we got the Six of Cups and it's got the Five of Wands. Now the Six of Cups, it can be a card about nostalgia. Looking back on how things used to be, it can be connected with children or childhood. So it's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can actually become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, it's with the Five of Wands, which often refers to competition. And usually, it could be work or career or family romance. But sometimes it refers to romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer and you can be successful, but you'll have to try just to see results. Now, when this card appears, the need to believe in yourself is going to have to be stronger than ever. So hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You may also be thinking of making a career change. Just know that you can be successful if so. So coming up, Carry Six of Cups clarified by this Five of Wands. Yeah, like I said, you're trying to make a decision. There's someone that you really, really want to go towards and have something solid and stable. And maybe even marriage or commitment you could be thinking about with this person. Now, the Six of Cups is about looking back or, or just um, thinking about all the happy memories that you made with someone. But it's with the Five of Wands, so you could be thinking that dealing with this person, is, is it feels like it's an uphill battle. Yeah. You feel like it's it's a lot is a lot to do or a lot to deal with, put it that way. You feel like it I'm gonna say it just point blank, it feels like it's an uphill battle dealing with this person. But there's a lot of happy memories. You keep looking back coming up. You're being nostalgic. Um, this person is someone that you feel very comfortable with. You have a lot of um, familiarity with them. Um, yeah, this could be the person that you have your hand tied to. It could be. Yeah, so you might be in deep thought coming up in the next few days or for January. Because um, you're still trying to make a decision. And... Your thoughts are taking you back to some, to the person that you have so many wonderful memories with. But it's also a struggle dealing with this person. Now this could be the person that you want to go towards. But for most of you, I'm getting it's a person that you just got your hand tied to. And put your back is to them. Yeah, it's just really difficult. It's a challenge to deal with them these days. But there's so many happy memories. You could have... This this could be someone that you've been with for a long time. So, let's move on. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We've got Temperance and the Four of Pentacles. Now, with Temperance... Um, your relationships, they could be going quite well, but you may need to look at any deeper personal issues 
and see if or how they're standing in your way, and if they are, how to work through them and integrate them, because the ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with any goals and aspirations. Now, with the Four of Pentacles, which can be a card about holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than is healthy, longer than is realistic. So when this card appears, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. The Four of Pentacles, it actually can point to anxiety and fear. Maybe it's about money, or maybe you're clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. But the key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. So your challenge, Aries, temperance, clarified by the Four of Pentacles. So, what I'm getting is that, yeah, like I said, you're dealing with someone. Like I said, I'm getting, there's two people here that you're dealing with. Um, the person that you, you got your back to, but your hand is tied to them, um, they could, they're feeling that you're, you're thinking about going in another direction. They can feel that your back is to them. They, or maybe they already know. Yeah, so, they're, they could be starting to do things that, are unhealthy because the Four of Pentacles is about holding on really tight in an unhealthy way. Yeah, so they could, this person could try to sabotage your connection with the other person for some of you. They could just start to do unhealthy things. They could maybe, the Pentacles is about money. Maybe they would, um, if you're financially tied to this person, they could cut off the finances or something. They're holding on really tight. For some of you, they could just start to cling on to you in an unhealthy way. Yeah, they could just start, maybe they'll start to keep tabs on you um, very openly and blunt and bold about it, making you feel like a child. Um, maybe they're um, just making you feel like um, you have to check in with them. Yeah, this person is, they feel your pull. They feel that you're pulling away. And they're holding on for dear life. And you realize that this connection is no longer balanced with temperance here. Temperance is about balance, but it's not there. Because it's with the Four of Pentacles. This connection is thrown off whack. It's very imbalanced now. There is no peace of mind. If you look at the Four of Pentacles, it's a card below the word challenge. This man, he's on all fours. He's got his hands on his money. He's got his feet on his money. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head and his brain looks like it's about to explode if a huge brick fell out of the sky and knocked him upside his head he'd still be in that same position so yeah the the connection is way off balance and your person could start to treat you like maybe like you have to check in with them when you go somewhere or they're keeping tabs on you they're they want to see your phone when you come back and see what kind of numbers are on it or who are you calling or where are you going what are you about to do just some unhealthiness is coming up and i'm getting it's with this person that you've got your back to but your hand is tied to them yeah you're still trying to make a decision for some of you, you've made a decision because this unhealthy cleaning is realizing that it's just too imbalanced right now. But for most of you, you're still trying to, to decide. 
So we move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We've got the Nine of Swords and so with the Ten of Pentacles. Now the Nine of Swords, it's showing that there's a need to guard against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, take a good look at whether any of that's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if other things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. So if this is the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable. There could be something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or just different than it is. So try to take comfort, try to take joy in the ordinary things and just know that that's where the beauty really is. Now it's with this Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, it's, it says that you've got a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kinds, finance, health. All these things should be going well, so you may need to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it, and be sure to share what you have, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need, because we get back what we give out. Yeah, so your outcome, Nine of Swords, clarified by Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so... Aries, you could start to realize that it's, it's time to make a decision because you're driving someone really crazy here. You could still be focusing on the happy memories that the two of you made, but it's just too challenging to deal with this person. I'm picking up it's, it's the person that you just got your hand tied to, but your back is to them. Yeah, so... You could be having some sleepless nights coming up because the Nine of Swords can be about nightmares, anxiety, grief, depression. It's because you haven't made a decision. But you realize, with the Ten of Pentacles here, you realize that the one that you want to, the person you want to go towards, is your Four of Wands. Whomever this person is that your, your body language is towards, and your ankle is tied to, and you're looking into their eyes. You want your ten of pentacles. You want to be happy again, because you got somebody that's a struggle, just just too challenging to deal with, and the connection is way off balance. So you realize it's time to make a decision because it's causing too much anxiety. And you just want, you want your Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is a card below the word outcome. It's a very, it's a, it's a, um, it's a happy overall. Ten of Pentacles is everything. Everyone wants a Ten of Pentacles in a reading. It means that everything is going well. Especially when it comes to love. Ten of Pentacles can be a lot of money. It can be about commitment. It can be about just a very happy, peaceful period in your life. And this is what you want brought back into your life. And I'm getting for a lot of you, you haven't had it with this person for a while. And that's why your back is to them. But you got so many memories with this person, so many great memories. But you're ready to go towards your, your four of wands. There's somebody that's that you want commitment with. And you want the connection um, to go to the next level. There's somebody waiting in the background for you to decide. And this person, you feel like you can have it all with them. But you got to make a decision, Aries, because you're driving, you're driving the other person crazy. And it looks like you could be stressing yourself out, too, with the Nine of Swords showing up. So, Aries, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you.
how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong, take good care, come back and join me for the next Aries reading. Just in case this, this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person or people could be a situation, could be a friend, could be a family member, or maybe even a co-worker. And yes, the roles of the people in the reading can be switched yes they can you could be them or they could be you so just take the reading for however it resonates because once again these are general readings they are not personal readings so aries i can never say it enough i thank you so very much for watching i hope you have a great day i hope that you have a wonderful 2021 and happy new year's I hope to see you at the next reading. Once again, have a great day and take care.